This is the new Apple Watch SE. It launched on 16th September and for the first time in my life, I went to the store at 6 a.m. and stood in a queue for it. It had more to do with the experience than to actually get the watch before anyone else. Now I know that I might buy the watch for myself in the future, but I know for a fact that Asher would never buy it for himself. So my plan was to give the watch to him and then later try and convince him that it's worth it. But based on his reaction that you'll probably just see, I think it's going to need a lot of convincing. I just released an art bag. What? It mega. Doesn't matter. Do you like it? Because I like the case. All right, so if you two are someone who thinks that the watch is not worth it, then stick around, your mind is about to change. So the watch comes in a standard packaging and there's nothing too fancy about it. The model is SE with a midnight aluminium case and a midnight sport band. It's the 44mm model and has a GPS in it. It comes with two band sizes, which is pretty neat. As soon as you open the watch, you will have to pair it to your phone and it wouldn't pair unless your phone has the latest version of iOS. Once paired, you will have to select the on-screen options to get the watch ready for your first use. The first thing is Apple Pay. Now you wouldn't really know how convenient it is until you start using it. Sometimes it becomes difficult to take out your phone and do the transactions. And in those times, you can just tap your watch and move on. It's so much more convenient. Next is the ability to control your camera on the iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone, then this feature is not for you. But if you do, and if you use it often to take pictures and record videos, then this is largely going to improve your process. You can tie your watch on the phone and then use the main camera to record self-logging type videos. Also, if you're recording lockdown shots and reading through a script, you have to get up every time to start and stop the recording. We used to do that to keep the size of the files small, which in turn then helped during the editing. But with the Apple Watch, you can start or stop recording by just one click on your watch. The amount of time and energy this feature will save is going to be a game changer. Point three, the watch is an amazing fitness tracker. The watch has a GPS, which can keep a track of your steps, which is mostly what I'm aware of because of my phone. But this watch can do so much more. There is a whole bunch of interesting features that you can use to keep a track of your healthy life. And you can also compete with your friends who have an Apple Watch. It doesn't matter where your friends are, you can add them to your fitness app and check how far along they are on their daily exercise goals. It's a great way to keep others motivated, which otherwise can be challenging. Point four, you can track your sleep cycles. This might be an extension to the fitness app, but it's important to get a good sleep if you're trying to remain fit. The watch helps you maintain a schedule and tracks how efficient your sleep was. The slight drawback here is that you have to wear the watch while you're sleeping, and it might be a little irritating at the start. Another cool thing is the alarm. It's only going to wake you up and not everyone else in the house. Instead of a loud alarming tone, this watch gives out heptic taps, which only you can feel and are very effective in waking you up. Point five, it makes you wash your hands properly. Based on the movement of your hands, the watch is able to figure out that you're washing your hands and it automatically starts the 20 second timer. Now nothing is stopping you from washing your hands in less than 20 seconds, but the timer kind of makes you feel guilty and more often than not, you will still end up using the entire 20 seconds to wash your hands. And in case you don't like this feature, you can always turn it off. Point six, it can find your phone for you. It's a cool feature and you can tap a few buttons and the phone will start ringing and it will also start flashing if you hold the button for a bit. A very handy feature. 
6.7, it's a smartwatch. So you can make phone calls from this, send messages, basically stay connected with the world, even if you're away from your phone. It's 10.27. Good morning, pal. Point eight, it is also water resistant up to 50 meters. So if you want to track your swimming goals, you can. As soon as you start any water activity, the watch will go into the water lock mode, which you can also manually switch on from your controls by clicking the water icon. Once you're done, you need to rotate the crown in any direction and then a series of sound waves will come out of your speaker to clear out any water molecules that were left behind. Point 9. The watch comes with 32 gigs of storage. What you do with that storage is up to you, but it comes in handy if you're installing a bunch of apps and listening to stored music on your watch. Point 10 is third-party accessories. There is no other smartwatch that has so many options available when it comes to third-party accessories. From apps to bands, you can get almost anything you want. So that was it. Do let us know which point you think is the best out of the list. And if you know any other cool points about the watch, then do let us know in the comment section. Thank you.